Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share with you how I edit my photos with uh, the Lightroom app on my iPhone. I'm going to take an example. I've taken three uh, different photos. I have a portrait, I have like something more like a landscape and something more like city. And I'm going to go through my whole process of how I take those photos and edit them to look the way they look when I share them on the vlogs with you guys. So let's get into it and screen record my phone so you guys can see uh, what I do. All right, let's go. So first, open Lightroom app. Here you go, and import from your camera roll. So I'm gonna take first this photo. This one was shot in uh, Hollywood back in Los Angeles two and a half years ago, I think, right before I moved to France, and right when COVID hit. That's when I went out and took this photo, and I shot that on I think it was my Sony Alpha 6000, which I don't have anymore, but it's a great photo. I really love that one. One of the favorite shots I took. So the first thing I do when I edit is to crop and kind of make sure the composition is right and make sure the verticals and horizontal lines are straight because that's one thing that really gets to me is when I see a photo and the lines are not straight. That really gets to me. So you go right here to the crop and rotate section I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, yeah, like that, so the verticals are straight. I usually shoot in 2 by 3 that's the format I like to use. And then, the first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna apply one of my presets. I have a couple here that are preset. This one, Earthy Look, is the one I go to the most. And then, after I get my preset on, then I adjust everything. So I start with the exposure, contrast, highlights and shadows, so right now this is a little bright um, so I would go here to exposure and probably lower it a little bit like that also the shadows could be a little darker yeah more contrasty like this as well okay I like the way this looks already I'm gonna go through the color section so this preset already has a warm temperature in this case this might be a little too much so I'm gonna dial it down a little bit like that and then I'll go to individual colors. I know I always have the blue with less saturation and less luminance. I kind of like it like when the sky is kind of gray like this, but this is a little too much. So yeah, I'm gonna go like that. Maybe a little more luminance. There you go. If you look at this uh, preset, you can tell that like, the greens are a little more yellow and a little more dim. So I like that look as well. And then I go to effects and I like to give it a little clarity like that so it pops a little more and I always use a little bit of vignette. I remember back in the day I used to like, use a lot of vignette like that and looking back on the old photos now I regret it but I always use a little bit that helps the focus go like straight in the middle of the image you can just like guide the eye towards where you want the person to look. Now why I like this photo a lot is because you can see here you have like the road that gives it like a diagonal lines and then you have the street that's going straight down the middle. Those lines give you like a center of interest which is really nice. It guides the eye to look where you want it to look. Also it was close to sunset and you can see the light uh, coming from the side and really lighting up the buildings and give it like harsh shadows on the road and this is why I love this shot so much. And then you have the foreground interest that was shot through the fence, you could tell from that, and that really gives it, I don't know, something a little more interesting, I guess. Also, when I go to the effects section here, after the vignette, I mess up with like the mid midpoint, like if I go like this on the vignette, you could see when I adjust the midpoint where you want the light to go. So probably something like that, a little more round, and then feather, also that gives it like the fade. And then I just dial down the vignette because you don't need that much. There you go. And then I also put a little bit of grain. I love the way it looks and then I always sharpen the image a little bit as well. Like that. And then you just click on it. Make sure you like the way it's been edited in the transformation. And yeah, to me that looks pretty good. So I guess I'm going to export that one to my camera roll. That's picture number one. All right, the next photo I'm gonna use is this one. This is more of a portrait, a photo of a person, Sam, obviously. On this, I'm pretty sure that this filter I use, the earthy look, that the preset is not gonna work very well. Eh, it does work. It's a little too orangey for me, so I'm gonna go either with 
the bright or the classic, I'm gonna go with the classic look. So again, I put the preset first and then I go and like tweak things to have it look more the way I want. You can never have a preset and just apply it and everything works. You always kind of have to go back in there and kind of tweak things. Otherwise, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? So I like the way this looks with this preset. I am gonna warm up the tones a little bit like that. Go back to the light. So on this photo to me the highlights of this photo, which is probably the beddings are good But the shadows are a little dark. So I'm gonna lift up the shadows like that There you go. And maybe dial down on the contrast because that's what makes the shadows darker and I didn't need to crop or Really realign anything to me the the, the main line is the back of the bed there the brown part I think this line is straight. So if it is straight Oh, it wasn't. Okay, here it is. Now it's perfectly straight. So that's the right composition for me. The colors are good as well. Maybe kill a little bit of that green because it's a little too um, too bright. Here you go. That's more muted. I like that. And as far as effects, I'm going to give it a little clarity as always and a little vignette. All right. I like the way this looks. A little bit of grain as I said earlier and then go back to details and sharpening okay that's on so that's really good and then check before and after before and after okay I like the way this looks so I'm gonna save that and on the last photo that I chose is a landscape photo this is a picture that I took in Saint-Tropez, which is a small town in the south of France by the Mediterranean Sea. So this has way different tones and, and, and colors, so it should be a different edit. So first, like I said, I go to crop and rotate and I'm going to make sure the horizon is straight. There you go. Also, when you crop, you want to make sure the center of interest is in the middle of the picture for the composition like that, or you want it to be on a line of thirds. but. Right now, I think the center would be that church and it should be in the middle. So we're pretty good. Now I apply my preset. So I'll try, I always try all four of my presets and see what is the best to start and then I tweak it. Okay, this is very dark, earthy looks. I kind of like the way this is going and then this is too bright. So I'm gonna go for earthy look as well. And now what I wanna do though is I wanna lift up those blues. They need more light in them. So first I go to the light section the contrast, the light exposure, so the, the dark part of the picture is pretty good and the lights kind of need to be more highlighted. So I'm gonna go like this and maybe dim down the contrast. Go to colors and like I said straight I go to the blues because you can see the, the C is very dark because I have that luminance all the way down. That's because of the preset uh, and the saturation too. You got this is kind of grayish. You want a little more colors in there, so a little more blue. And I like the way this looks. Let's see if I tweak that light blue there. Okay, that would be the sky. And I'm gonna dim down the sky because it's too bright. Okay, I like that. All right, and I kind of want to get that orange and yellow in the buildings to pop a little more. So I'm gonna go here, yellow, and I bump that up. And then orange, it's already up, but luminance is down. So I'm gonna go more, yes, like that. Okay, and then check, always check as you go, like before, after, before, after. Are you going in the right direction or are you messing everything up? <laughs> I like the way this look. Now, go back to the effect section. Vignette is on a little bit. I think I could use a little more to drag the eye more towards the village. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go crazy on the vignette. Make sure I chose the midpoint, okay, closer to that church. I go to roundness, not like that, and feather it a lot. And then I go back to vignette and I kill it a little bit. So it's not too much before, after. All right, I like the way this looks. A little bit of sharpening. Go back to the effect tab and go to the grain. Okay, there's grain on it. So this is pretty much what I like to see. I'm gonna export this and put it back on my camera roll. All right, this is it. So this is how I edit my photos. I always use my iPhone to do so. I like the Lightroom app. It's very simple and easy to use. I like the fact that you can actually tweak and edit the colors. I know I'm not shooting my photos in RAW because to me, they take too much space and I don't feel like I need. Sometimes you might need some a raw image when it's backlit or you wanna gain more of those highlights or shadows because it's kinda like blown out in the photo and then if you shoot raw, you can actually get it back better. 
but most of the time you don't need to shoot raw and I feel like when you edit a JPEG photo you can get whatever you want without shooting raw and that's why I use my phone this is the easiest uh, workflow I just plug my camera to the computer export all the photos straight to my phone and I can go through my photos here edit them and then once they're edited they're always going to be stored in my phone and I always back them up on the hard drive so I don't lose them this is it this is my workflow Thanks for giving me the idea. Someone commented on one of the videos that they were curious to see uh, how I do edit my photos. So I think it was a great idea. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have anything to comment, please leave it down below if you have any questions or maybe other video suggestions. I'm always uh, all ears. And uh, hopefully uh, you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like this so you can see more videos like that. I often do some photo vlogs when I go out to towns and, and shoot some photography and I'll see you guys next week for another one. Cheers! <laughs>